Good evening folks, welcome to Beer Rating with Sean Connors, day 19 of our advent calendar. Where'd the time go? I don't know. Basically, you open up the door, every day for 24 days you get a beer. Let's see what we got today for day 19. Up at the top. Just realized I don't have my glasses on, so hopefully I can read most of it. Ooh, another sour ale. Uh, low funk sour ale. Uh, won a gold medal at the Great American Beer Festival 2019. This is sour funk conditioned with lactobacillus using a Solera blending method, refreshing tart with hints of lemon and Belgian esters. Allow your taste buds to boogie down with this. Funky pleasure. This is uh, for the love of beer. Drink out of a glass. Keep chill. Please recycle. Love the planet. No kettles were sour during the making of this beer. Um, just trying to figure where it's out of. 4.2 percent alcohol. Mob Craft is the brewery, I believe. It says at Mob Craft. At Mob. Craft, we turn ideas into beers. Submit your ideas, vote on what's next. So that's kind of cool. You can go to their website and give them some ideas. And it's out of Milwaukee, USA. All right. So I've already given my glass a cold water rinse. And I do like sours. Actually, my favorite beer so far has been this one, the Pina Colada Sour. And it sounds totally out to lunch. And I felt the same way. I figured this is going to be awful. And I really, really, really enjoyed that one. I think that was probably one of the highest ratings so far. Um, other people I know go through the calendar. They didn't enjoy it nearly as much as I did. For me, I love to travel. And as with the pandemic, obviously it's been geez, 15 months since I travel. And I'm itching to get out of here anywhere, someplace warm, preferably in the winter. And when I drank the peanut clotted sour, every mouthful, brought me back to lying on a beach or someplace warm. So that probably had a big influence on it as well. So let's see what this sour is going to uh, bring us. My friend Ruth, she's going through the calendar too, and she was one of the ones she didn't like the pina colada sour at all. I think she actually poured half of it down the drain. Her favorite was a quadruple, which I wasn't a big fan of, so we always got different tastes. She seems to like the IPAs, which I don't, so... I don't think she's going to enjoy this one. She made a comment. She won't tell me every day, basically, she takes it out of the box, puts it in the fridge, but she won't tell me what it is. But she told me she didn't think she was going to like it. So, it smells like a sour right off the bat. And I can't even say, you know, I say about the aroma, but I can't get into details because it's really hard. But if you had sour ales before, there's a distinctive aroma. This definitely has it. Not a lot of head. Not really clear, but not overly cloudy. Let's give it a taste. Definitely a sour. Hmm. It's interesting. For me, sour and rattlers. And a rattler basically, the traditional rattler I believe is half beer, half lemonade. Now they do do other types of fruit juices, and that's one of those ones too, which I didn't think I'd like, and I really enjoyed it. But I think for me, the Rattlers and Sours, for me, they're beers that I think I would really, really enjoy on a hot summer day. One of those days where, you know, you're, you're warm, you're sweaty, you're tired, and you just want something cold and refreshing. For me, Rattlers are ideal for that. And I think Sours are starting to go into, I, I still enjoy them. But I think I'd enjoy a sour much, much better on a hot summer day. It's kind of like a glass of lemonade for me type of thing. Um, this one, there's, it's obviously a sour and it's got the sour flavor. But other than that, I find there's not a whole lot of other taste to it. Like the pina colada, like I said, every sip I took coconut and whatnot. Actually, I pitch myself on a beach. This one, I don't pitch myself anywhere. Like I said, it's a sour tasting, but there doesn't seem to be much else to it. 
They said hints of lemon and Belgian esters. Hmm. All right, so I have to give it a rating. My ratings, as always, are out of five. A one is a drain pour. I don't like it. Can't finish it. A two would be a, yeah, I'm not a big fan, but I'll finish it. A three would be a good beer. A four would be a very good beer. And a five would be the best beer I've ever had. And this one so far, I'm leaning towards a three. It's not a bad sour, but for me, it's kind of like a... It's a decent sour, but there's nothing there that makes me, you know, can't wait to have another one. The peanut clot, I'd definitely pick those up. Anytime I got, you know, I long to be somewhere, I think I'd have one of those. Um, hmm. I'm leaning towards somewhere between 2.5 and 3.5. Now, if you don't like sours, you're obviously not going to like it. And I think if you did do like sours, you'd probably go, yeah, it's okay, but that's about it. So I guess with that being said, I kind of answer my own question. Is it really a 3.5 if I'm saying, yeah, you know, it's okay. So kind of leaning towards 2.5, maybe a 3. Um, I think I'm going to get three just because I'm finding it fairly easy drinking. There's nothing that will, no flavor or taste that will hold you back and make you hesitate to drink it. But there's nothing for me, nothing really there that makes me excited to have my next mouthful, if that makes any sense. Jeez, I'm still 2.5 or 3. I think I'm feeling a little bit generous today. It is Christmas week after all, less than a week, so I think I'm going to give it a 3. And like I've said before, I mean, these are my own personal ratings. That's all it is. I encourage everybody, any of these beers, to try them. Let me know what you think. Am I totally out to lunch? Do you agree with me? I mean, all these beers have won gold medals. So they're definitely good quality beers for their categories. A lot of times the question is, do you enjoy beers of that style? There's not too many styles I don't like. Obviously, from what IPAs are not my favorite. But other than that, I can drink them. It's not something I drink regularly, but I can definitely drink them. The sours, I'm kind of, for the most part, I really I do enjoy them, some more than others. And this one is enjoyable, but it's just nothing great. One more taste, and I'll decide 2.5 or 3. Um, I think I'm going to stick with the 3, 3.0 specifically. Just because I am finding it kind of refreshing. And it would definitely be a thirst quencher. There you go, folks, for the Mobcraft Low Funk Sour Ale Gold Medal winner in the 2018 Great American Best Beer Festival. 3.0. Hopefully you can join me tomorrow. I think we got what? Four beers left. One, two, three, four. Okay, now now folks. Until next brew, which is tomorrow. Enjoy responsibly. Cheers.